Hey guys, this is Fiend Ray 91 and unfortunately I'm not talking about the best news here. Well, remember how there was a chip shortage basically due to the pandemic and that resulted in less PS5 and Xbox Series X's out there, right? And I think a lot of people, including myself, thought the chip shortage was going to be over around this time, right? But apparently Intel CEO has said that it may actually last until 2024. Now, God willing it won't, but it's weird that he would say that. It's already been around two years, and now you're saying another two years, maybe? Apparently that will go all the way from like PS5s to new cars. Yeah, but we're here to talk about video games, not cars. So I'm just saying, it kind of makes you think. I agree with BGVU Tech USA. It does kind of make you think like, because we're just so used to going to the store and just getting the console or something like that, right? But it does kind of make you think about all the stuff that has to go into actually making these consoles. Like they're, Like one little piece is gone. And all of a sudden, they're going to not be able to produce as many consoles. So it does go to show how many pieces there are before you actually get to the fully made console. But hey, if it, if it does happen to last until 2024, hey guys, we just got to deal with it. But I know it may be a long wait for some of you who haven't gotten either your new Series X or PS5. But I'm going to have to encourage once more, please don't buy Xboxes or PS5s that are very overpriced, you know, like on eBay and stuff like that. Now, I'm not going to tell you forever, but let's just see how the rest of this year goes out. Because for now, most of the games are still coming to the last gen consoles as well. So I don't think that you need to rush out and buy an overpriced console just yet. So I'd say just wait at least until the end of this year before even like thinking about maybe I should buy one of these overpriced Xbox Series X's or PS5's. But what do you guys think about this chip shortage? And do you guys really think that Intel CEO is right that this may last until 2024? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.